हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस इको एंड द कंडीशंस फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इको फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस इको इफ वी क्लैप अवर हैंड वाइल स्टैंडिंग एट सम डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम अ हाई एंड अ हुइज वॉल और अ हिल वी हेयर द क्लैपिंग ऑफ अवर हैंड्स अगेन आफ्टर सम शॉर्ट इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम द साउंड ऑफ क्लैप हेयर्ड बाय अस इज नोन एज इको so echo is produced due to the reflection of sound echo is a repetition of sound due to reflection of original sound by a large and hard obstacle so conditions for the production of an echo nature of the obstacle for the production of an echo the reflecting surface or the obstacle must be reached such as building hill or a cliff size of obstacle echo can be produced if the size of the obstacle reflecting the sound is quite large time gap between the original sound and the reflected sound we can hear two sounds separately if the time gap between these two sound is more than 1 over 10 second or 0.1 second the time interval equal to 0.1 second is known as persistence of hearing this means the impression of any sound heard by us from 0.1 second in our brain if any other sound enter Our ear before zero point one second. The first sound enter, then second sound will not be heard by us. Thus, the echo will be heard if the original sound reflected by an obstacle reaches our ear after zero point one second. Distance between the source of sound and obstacle. We know speed of sound in air is three hundred forty four meter per second. distance traveled by sound equal to speed multiply by time and distance traveled by sound in 0.1 second equal to 344 meter per second multiply by 0.1 second and it is equal to 34.4 meter so the minimum distance between the sound and the obstacle is 17 meter so echo will be heard only if the minimum distance between the source of sound and the obstacle is 17 meter Thanks for watching like comment and share my video subscribe my youtube channel